What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. This is Aaron from Key West Waterman. If you're not familiar with this channel, but I feel like most of you are. <laughs> um, so we have here on the table, we have a couple of rose belly, uh, black belly rose snapper, a black grouper, spider crab, and stone crab claws. Now, if you wanna see how we got this stuff and you came to my channel first, you gotta go over to his channel. It's gonna be a video with the same title and uh, check out how we got this. The reason why we got this is because I need redemption and we're doing another Iron Chef cook-off. This time, not with the same ingredients, obviously. So Aaron's gonna cook his dish. I'm gonna cook mine. This is my protein, this is his. And we have two impartial judges this time and we're actually doing a, uh, a grading system. So we're gonna be graded one through five on taste, originality, and presentation. So there's a lot of room, like someone could have, you know, not that great a presentation, but if their taste is through the roof, they I'm, could- I'm banking on presentation. They, <laughs> they could run away with it. So, all right, we're gonna clean these, get up to the kitchen. So you're gonna get two recipes out of this episode and I'm gonna try to separate them. Uh, do mine kind of first, his, and then we'll get to the judging. The spider crab and the stone crab are already cooked. How did you cook those and why did you do them already? So I cooked them ahead of time because if, if in my findings, if you store these cold uh, for a long period of time, the meat will get really sticky. And when you do go to cook them and try and crack them, it's gonna be a nightmare to get it out of there. So all I did was boiled the claws. I boiled for about eight minutes and went straight into an ice bath and the body I actually steamed just to try and preserve some of that body meat so it didn't get overcooked in the water. But um, they're ready to go. All right, so for my recipe today, I'm actually going to be using the fillets. A lot of times we use, if you spend some time on Will's channel, you see, whoop, that's not very sharp. We uh, use a lot of the off cuts, but today I will be using the fillets. Maybe, if this knife will cooperate. <laughs> I think I grabbed the wrong one. One of the things about acquiring the proteins was that there were no rules. You just couldn't buy your protein. You had to acquire them by harvesting them or you just couldn't pay for it. That's all it was. So, so I got bycatch and there's no rules. So I'm taking the head off of Aaron's grouper. <laughs> I may just accidentally throw it in the canal because there's no rules. <laughs> I'm a rib guy, take the ribs. And there we are, the beautiful grouper filet. And even though it won't be on the episode, we're still gonna be saving those for a stew. All of the fish. pin bones right here go back to about we got right here salt water rinse I like to rinse in salt water fresh water if you let it sit long enough, fresh water will actually start to break down the meat. So just get all those scales and whatnot off and that is my grouper filet. All right, so my fish, I am going to steam them whole and get all the meat out of the collars, the head. And of course, this was a pleasant uh, surprise, Aaron's grouper head. So we're gonna steam that with these fish. Also, watching the commercial guys Gut fish, wow. <laughs> it's 
So this is why they're called black belly rose snapper. I don't know what turns their belly black like that, but it's pretty cool. And I've cooked it up before and it has no taste difference whatsoever. That stomach is <laughs> like leather. blaming your knife. <laughs> that wasn't the dull one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the only other thing that I'm going to do, because I've said it before, the, uh, the gills can lend a little bit of a uh, bitter flavor. So we're going to actually pull those out as well, give these a rinse, and then these are going into the steamer. There you go. Nice and clean. Scales are still on because we're going to peel that right off when we steam it. All right. All right. So for my dish, I need all the crab meat out of these, so I have to individually pop these oh. best way to do it in my finding is with a spoon Whoop. and be careful because these uh, shells are so tough they're sharp like knives like if you catch the corner it'll get you Hanging on. <laughs> Look at that. Put put that in the palm of your hand. That's that's what's gonna take the cake oh right there. My. Okay. So first things first for my recipe, I'm gonna steam the fish. So I have the steamer going. No uh, salt or anything on the fish because we're gonna pick all the meat and then season it separately. So I'm just gonna put these guys in. Those are gonna steam for about probably 20, 25 minutes. And while they're steaming, I'm gonna get some dough ready. Now, we're not telling you right off the bat what our recipes are. We're just gonna go through with it because we're not telling each other. I mean, we'll probably figure it out as it goes on, but we're gonna keep each other in suspense and just start making all of our ingredients and doing all the prep work. Okay, so in this bowl, we're gonna do two cups all-purpose flour and two and then in here i have half a cup of water and we're slowly gonna add that to our flour and that's room temperature water i'm not a baker or a dough maker but apparently that makes a difference Now we're gonna let this rest for 15 minutes and that has to be covered. So we'll be back here in 15 minutes. All my uh, fish heads are done steaming for fish head and fish. So I'm gonna put this aside let these cool down and then we'll pick through all the uh, all the meat and everything in there. So first things first, I'm going to make my sauce. I'm just going to do, chop up a couple things. I need some shallots and a little bit of garlic.
Our doe rested for 15 minutes. Now, work it again. We're gonna keep working it until it appears smooth and has the texture of an earlobe. That's the trick. And then we're gonna let it rest again for at least 30 minutes. While my dough is resting for the second time, we can go through and pick all of our fish heads and carcasses. Now, if you need a more in-depth tutorial on this, you can go back to some of my other episodes and I go through very meticulously what you can get out of a fish head. But I don't think we're going to go that in depth right now. Those black belly rose snappers really are beautiful, beautiful, firm white meat. They are incredible. I think we came to the determination in New York that black sea bass was very similar to the black belly rose snapper and I definitely going through it now. This is almost a little bit more firm though. All right, so I have all of my head meat and filet meat and collar meat completely picked, cooled down. So I want this really fine for my filling. So I'm going to put it on my cutting board and run a knife through it just to make sure no bones, no scales. All right, so I have here ginger, easiest way to get the skin off with the spoon. Don't bother with a peeler or trying to get in there with a knife. This is fast and simple. We're gonna grate that in. Now garlic. We have uh, one egg, beat that up. Why I chose a spoon to beat that, I don't know. All right, the reason I'm cutting these so high, because we plant them in our backyard, so I'm saving those. And then I'm gonna cut up just to where it starts getting dark green there. A little bit of lime juice. Black pepper. And sea salt. And mix that up until it looks almost like a paste. And that's our filling. We're going to put this aside. While I was doing the fish prep, our dough rested. I actually put some saran wrap on top just so that it wouldn't lose any of its, uh, any of its moisture. Oh, yeah. Okay, so while you're working with the dough, the best thing to do is work with only a little bit of it at a time so that it doesn't dry out on you. So I'm going to put that right back where it was and flour my hands and we're going to roll out a cord. So maybe the thickness of about a nickel and we'll go about an inch. Let's see what that ends up being. Now I want them somewhat circular, but that is nice and thin. Have you figured out what we're making yet? But that's about where I want it. So I'm gonna roll out these, finish this cord, and then we're actually going to stuff them and fold them. And then we'll do the other half of the dough. All right, so I have my 11 rolled out. Two, 
take my filling and then you want to fold them over and keep pinching. There you go. That's what we're making. Now how we cook them is another story. All right, I'll do one more just to show that again. So you fold and pinch. Fold and pinch. You can't tell. I've never done this before and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but I know they're going to taste good. Fold and pinch. Fold and pinch. Fold and pinch. There we go. Never fish dumplings. All right. I'm going to do these, get the other dough, roll that out, do those, and also make sure that you flour where they are sitting because we're not cooking these for at least another two hours. So those are going to go into the fridge. All right, so Will's doing whatever he's doing over there. Probably something lame, but I've got, <laughs> I've melted about two tablespoons of butter. We're going to make my sauce right now. Two tablespoons of butter. I've got about a tablespoon of garlic and a tablespoon of shallots. And we're just gonna just cook these down just for about a minute or so. Kind of a medium low heat. Maybe a minute or two. Alright, so about a minute or two on simmer. You can use a clam base for this. I'm gonna use this is actually a lobster stock I made last week. Oh, we're going to do two tablespoons. Mm, very creative, babe. And we're going to do a cup of heavy cream. And about a little bit of sherry. I'm going to bring that up to heat. We're going to simmer that for about probably eight to 10 minutes, just kind of watch it. And I want this to reduce a little bit till it starts to thicken. Can you clarify that it was Madeline that said creative babe, not me? <laughs> so what? <laughs> creative babe, <laughs> that, oh. that wasn't me for the record. <laughs> babe, you gotta turn me off. <laughs> I'm focusing on the opponent. <laughs> You're supposed to be unbiased. I am. That's so why I'm giving see, him attention. That is. You all the way in there. You get steamy. It's thickened up quite a bit. It should thicken a little more as it cools. So just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just a <clears throat> dash. Of nutmeg. That smells right. Who I want to? I'm a judge. I get a taste. No, no, no. You're in the field. <laughs> I think all the cooking shows allow people to taste test. I don't think the cameraman does. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you ever see a wandering hand on Food Network? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, let me oh. about it. That's it. Oh yeah. Might as well not even try. <laughs> oh boy. We'll see. Are you cheating by seasoning your food? I'm not, there are no rules. <laughs> it doesn't really make it that bad. But it involves fish. <laughs> so the judges are here. I'm not a judge. Wait, Courtney. I am not ready. Oh, You're ready. ready. <laughs> that's that's no, on camera right That's now. it. <laughs> <laughs> You came in camera ready. <laughs> All right, so we have Courtney and Zach, impartial judges, and they're judging on taste, presentation, and what else? Originality. Originality, that's right. I made up the rules and I can't remember. <laughs> 
And I don't I, listen. Put in the comments. I said go one through five. Aaron and Zach said it's not one through ten. I did one through five. How That's get, it. I need. How do you get perfect tens? Yeah. Yeah, perfect five. <laughs> perfect it's a five star restaurant. That's a Mama Clams rating system right there. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start cooking now. This is almost hot. Almost. <laughs> almost. A little bit of olive oil and butter. See, Aaron, Aaron always cheats with butter, so I had to throw, I wasn't even gonna put butter in my dish, but <laughs> I have to. No rule. <laughs> there's no rules. All right, so the only issue that I have is when you make pot stickers, you're really supposed to make them and cook them right away. I did not do that. So they're sticking to my pan just a little bit, but we're gonna make it. <laughs> it's not an excuse. <laughs> Oh, we want that hotter than that. Madeline is not it. allowed to judge. <laughs> She's impartial. What about like a like a tiebreaker though? No. Well, that's the point system. That's uh, we we have to arm wrestle on if there's a tiebreaker. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go rock paper scissors. Yeah, it's, it's, it's way safer. It's because that's like Aaron's last time. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I think it's I, I'm Palmer. cheating. No, it came out afterwards that Madeline doesn't like Asian flavors. She doesn't like, and that's what I made. So the the scale was tilted before the competition <laughs> even started. I research all my judges. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let those get nice and brown on the bottom, and then I have. This is actually some of the water from the steam fish that was in the bottom. We're gonna pour that in, throw the lid on, and that'll steam the rest of the dough up top. But for right now, we're just gonna let those sit and let them brown. This is what I'm looking for on the bottom. Nice golden brown and crispy. And now, I'm gonna do <laughs> this stupid thing and pour water into hot oil. <laughs> but we're gonna shield ourselves with this. All right, so those got to steam for like two, three minutes, and then we'll plate them up. I have to ask, Chef Will, what was your inspiration for this dish? My inspiration was beating Aaron. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I, I obsessed with pierogies, and I was like, I want to do pierogi, but then I got outside of the pierogi and started thinking about gyoza and Chinese dumplings. Because mm. one thing down in Key West, you can't get really good Chinese food. You can get Chinese food, but not really good Chinese food. A lot of the things down here, if you want them, you just have to make them. So that's what we're doing. That's where we are. I like it. All right, turn off my heat. There we go. So I also went in blind on this, so I don't know how they're going to come out, but I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that's a great action. I don't know. Might be, might be in trouble, Raining Champ. A little bit of hot oil. Wait, do you guys like spicy or not? Yes. Oh, oh that's cheating. What? <laughs> That's not cheating. That's knowing your judges. <laughs> it's not too spicy, so it's okay. And scallions. All right. And then this is just going to be soy sauce and a little bit of seasoned rice vinegar. That's not fair. You just heard Zach say he loves soy sauce. I, I already had it planned. <laughs> So that's them. You get to eat all of them? Yeah. <laughs> you have to share the soy sauce though. Mm. There you go. <laughs> all right, so like on Iron Chef when they stand on the side and watch people eating, you say, okay, what, what you are eating is <laughs> a homemade dumpling with black belly rose snapper, Black grouper head, ginger, garlic, and scallion. Oh. 
I like it. So it was my first time ever making the dough for for them. You can you can <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about it. Yeah, you can talk about it. I can talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> and we want honesty on both sides. Well, I'm not a big fish eater, as we all know. <laughs> Which is why we invited you. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. A little hint of fish in it, but a little bit of fishy. A little bit. I'm very, very particular about that. But I'm still eating it, which is what it <laughs> And take your time. No what, do you, what do you think, Courtney? I think it's really good. Yeah! <laughs> hey, we'll see what the score says. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> how do you judge two completely different things? Like That's, you just write down what your you heart to What your heart feels in number form, yeah. one to five. So it's one to five, <laughs> one to ten. <laughs> Taste, originality, plating, and then the total scores will decide. So... Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, you're judging each dish just on the dish. You're not judging versus. And gotcha. Then, and then when I win. Okay. And, when I win. <laughs> and whenever you write them down, you gotta flip them over so we can't see. Yeah. So right now I've <clears throat> boiled some sweet potatoes. They just came out. We're gonna add a little bit of butter, a little bit of milk. We're gonna make some mashed sweet potatoes. I'm going electronic for this one. Clock is ticking. <laughs> Trying not to catch my cord on fire. Cheater. <laughs> Just butter on no. fire. No! Oh my god. <laughs> A little bit of maple syrup. syrup. Yes, it is. And I'll explain why my thought process here. Once I assemble this. So those are exactly where I want them. I've got my cast iron smoking hot. I'm going to stick to what I know on this one. I know I, I know that I know how to cook a piece of fish properly. So I'm going to build it right around the filet. Sous chef. <laughs> if that would have just went right to the sweet potato, that would have been yeah, right. <laughs> just flop it right on in there. Alright, so I want that smoking hot. I've got salt and pepper. That is it on these. And I really want them to char so they hold that moisture in. Have a little crispy edges. Who, who taught you how to cook fish like that? The best deep dropper in all of New Mexico, Matt Conrad. <laughs> About a, about a minute and a half on each side. I'm going back to the butter. When in doubt, butter. And I have my oven at 375. There's my sauce just lightly warming up. We'll see that in about 10 minutes. There we are. Now for the fun. Hope your guy's cholesterol is okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Butter. Oh gosh. Seriously. <laughs> not, not at all, but that's alright. <laughs> oh, there's little butter pools in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> And I have my picked crab meat from earlier. Stone crab. <laughs> of course stone thought. crab and a little bit of spider crab. Oh. Is this the second time this week I'm getting stone crab? Lucky you. you. <laughs> I got lobster and stone crab on Sunday. And that is what my... Is that? Zach, you're in, you're in luck. You won't taste that fish at all. No. At all. That's the point. He, he, he knows that. Is that Man. It is a sweet cream sherry sauce. Jeez. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, see, good thing oh. you have to judge. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Well, I'm going to do stand over here. Uh -uh. <laughs> My inspiration for this was I can't have a meal without having dessert. And me and Will didn't say this in the video, but we talked about there were no rules, but we did agree that there would only be one dish. So I tried to make my dish have a little bit of an appetizer up top with the crab and the sweet sherry sauce. Mm -hmm. 
Your grouper is your entree, and your sweet potatoes are your dessert. Or get wild and eat them all together. I'm going to live on the edge here for a sec. <laughs> That's how I've been doing it all together. Mm -hmm. So the sauce is sweet. It's a sherry cream sauce. And then you saw the grouper and the sweet potatoes, a little butter, maple syrup. Maple syrup. I played, played the butter and the sugar hard on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Turn the camera off. <laughs> For initial feelings, initial feelings. No, we, we can't say anything, right? Yeah, no, that's well, I like the, the score is the score. I'm very you can curious. give feedback. I'm very curious because in my head I had it tasting a certain way together and I haven't tried this yet. It's the first time I've ever made it, so. Bro, I'm, you I'm, basically made Thanksgiving on a plate. <laughs> with fish. fish. I'm a big fan of it. It's my favorite holiday. Totally. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've never had fish and sweet potato together. I really like the maple syrup in the potatoes. I've never thought to do that. It's a great idea. Yeah, you're so creative. Mm. Spending a lot of time with Will. <laughs> me. This house is a prison. <laughs> <laughs> but your technical skills are like up there. So it's, yeah, yeah, This isn't yeah. as technical. Well, you can't be looking at it. <laughs> I can't see from there. <laughs> Stop. Look. <laughs> that was pretty quick for me. I don't know. How much thought did you put into that? I want to know. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys. The results are in. <laughs> okay. So for taste, Will received a seven combined score, and Aaron received a ten. What? <laughs> All right. Originality. This is a tie. Both received a nine Ooh. combined score. Plating, again a tie. Both received an eight. Whoa. So our winner is Chef Aaron Young. <laughs> <laughs> By what? What was the total score? By three points. Three points. So <laughs> uh, you should have won the ten. Well, I, I got, you know what? I got the guy that doesn't like fish, it's and I served him fish. It was the three extra ounces of butter. Oh. <laughs> But we tied, we tied on plating and originality. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I got, uh, the, the only lifesaver was the butter. I think Everything also, it, we Man. should, for the next one, we should add a technicality, like, or technical skill section, because I feel like. No, that's plating and originality. Mm. What do you mean You made homemade dough for the dumplings. Like, that's. You mean just, that's just like, with skill. Skill. <laughs> <laughs> skill. All right, guys. If you like this episode, hit like, hit subscribe, because it's the last one I'm doing. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Next time, you know what? Next time I'm just going full on butter and I'm taking this thing by a landslide. But I just want to point out, even Morimoto lost in Kitchen Stadium a couple of times and he's a master chef, so I'm okay with it. All right, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey. All right, so one thing they don't get to do on Iron Chef that we're gonna get to do is eat one another's food. <laughs> to see. Which I'm excited about. I'm going in Dumpling style. Mm. And to be clear, I've never made mine, Will's never made his, so we actually don't know what these taste like. Mm. I went in blind. This is beautiful. So I would give this a 10 for plating. It was only 5. Well, I'm giving it a 10. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a little burned butt. Love it. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. So I can see where what you said, maybe the fish got a hair overdone, but the flavor itself, the, I guess it's dough from scratches. So the fish steamed incredibly, fish. incredibly fast. Yeah, I remember watching it. And that was crazy. You, normally it takes like 20 minutes. That fish was done in 10. I turned around, it was finished. So that was one thing. And then another thing that I would do, if I do it again, I would actually add mayo to the mix because the mayo would help coat the fish and it would be something to kind of protect it from overheating or overcooking rather. But let me see. Let me try this guy. Mm. I want to try all three and see how weird it is. It's not too far. Mm -mm. No. 
Just, no. Just a little bit over, though. It's not uncomfortable by by no means. The hot oil is a nice Just touch. barely. I really like the hot oil. Mm -hmm. Well, the stone crab is excellent. Well, once again, <laughs> I think we both win. Seriously. These are both really good. <laughs> yes. Wow. Ooh. I do. I, I really like the taste on mine. It is that cooking oh. of the fish. The, the the flavor as a whole is amazing. It's and we're we're being very nitpicky here. Yeah, like it's just barely off. That stuff like that. <laughs> just barely off, but the flavors itself are incredible. This is this is probably going to be like an hour long episode, <laughs> and I'm okay. I'm okay with it. We love you it. for watching this far. <laughs> I'm okay with it because if you guys only knew, like as Aaron says, I want to keep it real in YouTube land. We started. I mean, this is a two day process. We went and got everything yesterday. That was a couple of hours. And then today, filleting the fish and cleaning everything and doing everything. What did we, we started at 11, 10 a.m.? It was mm -hmm. probably 10 a.m. 10 a.m. All the prepping and the sauces and Will making the dough. And it's, it been, is, it's been a, quite the process. It's Labor seven now. <laughs> you, can taste, you can taste the pain. You can taste the pain. But I will say this, I would not want to spend that day any other way. This is amazing. Because <laughs> if this is the end result, Seriously. So wait, okay, if you were a judge. No, 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 yeah, let's, no. <laughs> let's hear it. But that's not fair because you know I, I don't care too much for Asian flavors. Okay. All but right. actually, oh, oh, oh. I do like yours. <laughs> Whatever. I, I like yours, babe. Yours is good. Obviously, it has the stone crab on there, which is my favorite. But I feel like this is really good. Like the hot oil with it, and I don't know, the everything's good. Everything's good. The dough is so good. I know. It does have a really nice flavor. All right. So I won. <laughs> hey, <laughs> not a problem. You know, those other two people, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Why we had them over here. Courtney's <laughs> still back there, but it's okay. She gave me she gave me better scores than Zach, who eats Twizzlers and, and Monster Energy drinks. So, you know, <laughs> next time I'm picking the judge. I'm hand picking. <laughs> That's how we're doing this. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So for real this time. We'll see you on the next one. Like and share. Um, and if you made your way to my channel just on your own, definitely go over to Aaron's channel. It's Key West Waterman. Um, chances are you probably made your way to this channel from his channel. <laughs> but Let's see how all this started. We'll see you on the next one.